guys, you know who it is. It's me, Alex. Right next to the Samsung Greatness again. You guys can see it right there. So we're right back out. And look at the speeds I'm getting on US Mobile. And it's on eSIM, because somebody told me to try it on eSIM. So I'm sorry. I don't believe that they support millimeter wave. I haven't found no evidence uh, supporting that they connect to millimeter wave. They are on a QCI-8 uh, post-paid, um, how you call that? Post-paid, how you call this? Post-paid QCI, you know? Like they're on a post-paid level for internet with US Mobile, so it's better than visible, way better than visible. And look at the speeds you get. So these are still great speeds, but I want to connect to millimeter wave. If I can't connect to millimeter wave, you're useless to me basically all jokes aside you're useless to me if i can't connect the millimeter wave i don't want the service like that's one thing i didn't like about uh visible but i put up with it because it was only 25 dollars a month but when you're trying to charge me 20 dollars more and you have on your wife on your website claiming that you you connect to millimeter wave <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> and you're not connecting to it then I'm sorry, I gotta call your bluff. I have to call your bluff. Let's do another one. And this is the 13 Pro, of course. So yeah, guys, this phone does not connect to millimeter wave. That's falsified information on their website when it says get up to three gigs down. I already tried it on the S22. Now this is on eSIM. I tried physical SIM. I tried everything and it still can't connect to millimeter wave so this myth is busted like the myth busters used to say this myth is busted because this is a straight lie a dog face lie so yeah get out of here with that nonsense talking about yeah man you could uh, connect to millimeter wave on us mobile see it's on eason and it's picking up uw so let's see what kind of speeds I get on fast.com. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get great ones because it's connected to C-band. But no millimeter wave from US Mobile. So sadly, this myth is busted. It can't connect. And I guess since they said they're not, they can't give me a refund because their policy says that you can't use over a gig in order to get your money back which i think that's bs that's a corny policy if you're not giving the customer what you claim they're supposed to get then you're supposed to refund them if you're claiming to get millimeter wave or give millimeter wave speeds you have to do that that's obliging by your own policy and your own terms and conditions on your own website when you're showing up to three gigs down on um on 5g this is not three gigs down. Then every time I call US Mobile customer care, they act like I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, so what kind of pings are you supposed to get on millimeter wave? Anywhere from eight to 11, or sometimes even 15 ping, so, or 16 or even 19. But not no 30 something ping, 32 like I'm getting right here, and three jitter, that's normal. But you see, no millimeter wave connection on the iPhone 13 Pro. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. You all ready? Thank you for watching, guys.